could put a chemical in uh, to speed that up, which have a catalytic effect upon speeding that uh, um, oxygen absorption. Um, some of you will have heard of the term sicative. Now, a sicative tends to be usually a metal. It's a metal chemical. Uh, in the old days, it used to be leads and cobalt paste because you'll notice that your lead and cobalt paste paints are very fast dryers anyway. So what they've done is effectively take an essence of those things, just a minute amount. But from my point of view, I frown upon those use. And you can read this in, in the in the good books like the Roth Mail, the Max Derners, that use of these secatives actually can cause other defects within the paint. So we frown upon the use of that. We make one or two products and we put very, very, very clearly on, on the container that there are dryers in. I'm thinking of our titanium white number three, which I always jokingly say I, I, I manufactured for the, the impatient art students of London who will call me up and go, oh, Mr. Harding, I love your paints, but I've, I've got a degree show in about a week's time and I've put really thick white on and I, you know, and I said, well, it's just, it's a good sign in some ways the paint's taking a long time to dry because it means those things aren't in it. However, of course, they, you know, when a, when a youngster is sort of like 20 and starting out a career, everything, they don't, they don't really care about the, uh, whether the painting's going to last 400 years or not. They're just worried about their degree show. So there's there's a few tricks to get around that, and one of course is putting the dryers in, and we we stated on our titanium number three very clearly with dryers, so you artists can make your own decision. In fact, it's I was jokingly say it's the one one of our products that I don't want you to buy. Please stick to the paints if you can that haven't got the dryers, and and please be patient. Yeah, it's a good it's a good sign.